Hey guys, M12 LRV RVSB Gaming here, back with another video, and today you're watching me as I initialize a new server. But why? But a new world, but why am I doing this? Well, apparently, Minecraft for the Xbox 360 got a major update, so I'm just going to load in, play, and see what's new. Um, hopefully, text, and the main reason I'm using text pack is I want to see if... If new items apply to texture packs, I'm going to probably play survival around for a little bit. <clears throat> and then if I don't find any new items in the update, I'm just going to go to creative and show you what they are. Oh, look at this. Oh my god, is this something new? Pearl green, pink fly, these can be used for pink dye. Oh my god, you... You can actually get pink dye instead of having to mix other dyes together. Cool. Glad I live near some chickens. Okay, where did he go? There he is. He's trying to run away. Okay, so I got some raw chicken. That's good for starting out with food. Now, let me see here. Let me see uh, more wood, of course. Wood mine. Okay. Mm. Let me think. So, I'm really excited, though. Like, this is a major update. wonder if I load into another world, we'll have these updates. I may just... Um, have this be my new official, like, um, let's play world and get rid of my old one where I made a swamp. Never really had time to finish a lot of things, but. Feathers, raw chicken. Time for a crafting table. Technically, I only need to make one pick, and then I can get cobble from there. But I want to kill some of these animals and get some food. As soon as possible. Okay. So I got food. I got some stuff. I'm going to cook that up. Not too much difference, really, to begin with. But maybe I just haven't gone out and explored, and that's probably what I'm going to do. Go in a cave, grab me a bunch of cobble for tools, and just set out on an adventure somewhere. Uh, from the looks of it, I briefly skimmed through the thing where it's like, Hey, you're about to start a game, but you haven't been here in a while. Or you haven't been here for the new update, because it always does this when there's an update. And new biomes have spawned, and I think I found one over there. Okay, more wood. Okay. Okay, I think we're good for now. Transportation. Boat. Seems like the place is a little bit bigger. Maybe the map is. Maybe it's not. It can swim off once. I'm over here. Now. Maybe I can find a village. Okay, what's very disturbing is that I'm on the surface, and I can hear zombies. By the way, 
I went into focus mode and I zoned out for a second. We have horses here, so I know I'm in a plains biome. I don't know what that is. Well, I can't eat it, so I don't know what this does. For sure. But I do know that I need cobble, and we're going to get a bunch of it for now. Cobble is going to be the new thing that I'm going to need to get. I'm going to probably get enough for a furnace and probably some stone tools. I see some coal over in the corner of my screen that I'm going to go get. Once I'm done mining all this crap. And I'm probably going to try and see if I can survive the night. It looks sort of cool now. I'm so excited. Like, really excited because of the update. Just want to get everything and share it with you guys. Everything that's that could possibly happen. Okay, so get rid of that. Crafting table, I'm losing hunger very fast. Furnace, put that there. Wait, raw pork chop, I got raw mut mutton. Oh, sweet! Sheep drop uh, meat now. Cool! I mean, I knew that was gonna happen, because I've seen, I've watched lots of people in gameplay of Minecraft on PC, or people who do it, and like, with, and then people play like Sky Factory with mod packs and whatnot on PC, but I know I'm probably not ever going to be able to play like mod packs like, like Sky Factory and all that stuff, but I do know that I'm, I sort of figured that eventually we would be able to have the raw food from uh, sheep. It makes sense that they would add that in. Okay, while I'm at it, I'm gonna get myself a stone pickaxe. Well, that's cooking. I'm gonna get more cobble. So we've met a few new plants. A few of everything else. We have this. I know I'm wasting coal because it m usually can smell up to like about eight or nine things per a uh, per piece of coal, but I it's whatever. I'm probably not going to stay on this long. I'm probably going to explore the rest on what we have to do out there. Survival seems okay for this update. Figured I'd give this change things up a bit as well. Maybe actually do a mixture where I go on to creative after this. So I had a decent amount of food for now, especially because before. Wow, that that's something new that they must have updated. Like you could mine, start mining a block with one item, and you could continue mining it with another. But now you can't do that. More cobble, of course. I just want to make sure I have enough for all my stone tools. Yeah, I have like 40. That's enough. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is get myself a sword. 
Actually, I could check here. Bird planks, spruce planks, jungle planks, acacia, which means there is bot new biomes. I think I don't know what biome that's in yet. Ah, uh, ah, uh, of course, because it's my first time doing this quartz block. You can do that by slabs, quartz pillar, stone. Oh, you can actually craft mossy stone. Wow. Diorite, granite. Oh my god, there's a lot of... Chiseled red... Ooh. Brewing stands, anvils, enchantment tables, furnace, crafting... Trap chest, ender chest, normal chest, bed... Iron bars, different types of fences, cobblestone wall, doors, trap doors. Kind of cool. But now it's nighttime, and I can't stand here looking at all the stuff I could craft forever. Okay. Now, I want to see what's over here on this biome. It looks like there's a lot of different colored rocks. This could be new. This could not be. I'm probably just going to explore this island, save, and then leave and go into creative and see all the new things. Actually. Get that out of the way. Swim back up. map though mobs here I'm gonna have a hard time swimming to the island if I keep getting knocked back from the skeleton there as I'm gonna just swim around to this side okay let me think So I'm thinking this is just a normal island, but they have these, but, uh, they have dirt here. I wonder, coal on the surface, that, that's something you don't see every day. But yeah, so far I don't know. Yeah, this is gravel, by the way. Kind of cool. There are some new things in survival. I'm probably going to play this off screen and whatnot. But I'm going to save game now. And I'll see you again when I'm going to see uh, you guys again when I make a quick jump. And guys, we're back. I'm on creative. I spawned somewhere near a forest biome. And uh, I am lots of spruce woods. But normally this would be a winter biome because... Usually when you have these kinds of trees, it's snowy here. But I guess that changed with something in an update. So uh, it just gave me a random seed. Village over here, which is kind of cool. But this is like super small. It only has like three buildings and a well and only one farm field. I wonder if they made the villages smaller but made more villages. I don't know. Actually, of course... We spawn with our map that we can use. And now I want to go explore and see what else is down here. I'm using a normal texture pack again if the textures seem a little bit different. Um, first half I was using the plastic um, texture pack where everything looked like pieces of plastic. But now I'm using um, the n default uh, texture pack. Okay, that's messed up. Before, you would only have, uh, mushroom biomes would only have giant mushrooms on those islands, um. And I forget what the kind of soil it is, is called. Oh my god, I'm just so excited about what we have here.
Mycelium. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. But let me see. Yeah, we're on Myce Mycelium I Islands would be like normally the only place that would have them. <clears throat> so I'm guessing this is like a plains biome. <clears throat> what kind of wood is this? Is this like normal oak wood or not? Hold on, guys, we will find that out. Yeah, it looks it looks like oak to me. But it seems a little bit darker. Actually, let's see, do we have any new woods? Oaks in the spruce wood, bruce wood, jungle, acacia, dark oak, I don't I think that's somewhat new. Maybe in the last update, we got clay, ice. Packed ice? What does packed ice do? I mean, really, ice, you don't really get it unless it's... Dark freezing... Sea lanterns? Ooh, we got some interesting things here. Okay, of course, we got the heads... We got a whole lot of flowers, which is kind of cool. Then we got our wools, carpets, decorations. N the only thing there is the change in flowers. I don't see any changes here with the redstone, and that's what I'm really interested in because I like screwing around with redstone. I'll go look in my own free time if anything has changed and let you guys know. We have, uh, from the looks of it, a few new supplies. We got pristine crystals, pristine shards. Don't know what those do, but we could find out. Let's see. We got, ooh, we can, ooh, there are rabbits in the game. That's kind of cool. Mutton, I think we get from sheep. Uh, we can have a fish, cooked salmon. <clears throat> Raw salmon, clownfish, pufferfish. So apparently you can have those in the game. Oh my god, we can have armor stands too. Now we can check. We have protection, feather falling blast, projectile, respiration, aqua infinity, thorns. Death strider. That's a new one. Sharpness, power. Fortune, Silk Touch, Efficiency, Looting, Fire Aspect, Knockback, Bane of Arthropods, Smite, Punch, Flame, Infinity, Luck of the Sea, in Lore. Now, I think from, oh my god, there was this, I can't remember what video it was that I watched, but I think Luck of the Sea and Lure are both stuff for, um... Fishing rods that allow you to get better things, I'm guessing. Because I think you can enchant that. Depth Strider, I don't know if you what that does. But we'll go see. Okay, actually, I'm picking out a few things that I want to actually look at, so... Let's just plop this down. Unbreaking. It says we might get that. Actually, how do we, um... What do we need? Uh, I remember, uh... What do we... I think it's lapis that we need for this. That allows us to see... What we get. Uh, that says unbreaking. Maybe I need bookshelves around this. Okay, I'm trying to just figure out what this does. Okay. Now, this should be more than enough, I think, books for it. Or 
I'm breaking, but that's all it says I'm getting. I'm guessing you can only get... Maybe those other ones can affect it if you um enchant it using the anvil and book. Um, Depth Strider, I do not know what that does. But we can always find out. Let's see, um, tool, uh, diamond sword. And let's get out an anvil. Diamond Sword, Depth Strider. Does not seem like it affects the base attack damage, but let's see what this does. Pig, come over here. Come over here. It derped out when it died a little, but that's about it. Depth Strider. I don't know what that does. Okay, anyway, this is supposedly packed ice. I do not know what this does. But, uh, we're gonna find out. So, I'm going to see if this thing melts. But I don't want to damage the environment around us. Because I, I don't want it, the lava to actually, like, be touching the ice because maybe that has an effect that's so I don't know hold on let me set this up here okay Lava. Whoops. I put down a little bit too much lava, actually. Bucket. I want to see if this melts. Because I can't actually break it. And I don't... And I can't turn it in. But I don't think it does. Packed ice doesn't melt. I think if you pack it in tight enough... It sort of sounds like something that wouldn't break. Supplies aren't new. We probably just have that stuff. Food, I already went over that. Tools, it doesn't look like there's anything new other than the armor stand. And maybe three or four new enchantments. What the heck? Okay, apparently we have potions. Splash potion of leaping. Ah, uh, let me see. Leaping, leaping, leaping. Let me see. Um, what does this do? Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh! So this gives you a jump boost. Okay, so that's kind of cool. But it doesn't look like there's anything else. So... Now I'm checking... Villager, Rabbit, Mule. Let me see. Spawn Creeper. Rabbit. Where is he going? Oh my god, you can actually have rabbits in the game! Are creatures upon death, they may drop rabbit hide or rabbit's foot. I'm guessing rabbit's foot is going to be the ingredient for potions of leaping. But it sounds kind of cruel. I wonder if you can actually have these as pets or if they're not tameable. I don't know. A lot of unanswered questions, but I guess... And apparently, grass can grow taller. So that's kind of neat. Now, I don't know why. Though, I don't know what the, what's with the pristine crystals or anything. 
But, um, I'll be sure and I promise you that there are a lot of things that I don't know yet about the game that I want to find out. So, I will make another video once I find out all the unanswered questions. This is my first look into survival and stuff I could find on creative with this new update for the Xbox 360 edition. And I'm going to have to end this video here. If you guys enjoyed, leaving any comments, questions, or feedback for me in the comment section would be highly appreciated. You can also send me questions over Xbox Live. Don't send me friend requests. I, if I don't know who you are, I'm not going to accept it. Um, safety reasons and all of that stuff and online safety. I, I, j I just don't go accepting from friend requests from people I don't know that well. Um, but you feel free more than likely to, um, you're more than welcome. Feel free to just send me questions if you have any over Xbox Live. My gamer tag's on screen. It's sort of sideways. If you can't actually, don't want to bend to read it like that, you can just, it, it's there. I'll see you guys later.